Okay, welcome back everyone. So now we are going to install the splash and spread method on the fabric so that we can be able to achieve our desired gown. So what we are going to do first is that we will place the border is on the fabric, folding it into four. But it's not going to have a it's not going to have zip. You understand? So the next thing we are going to do now is to take our scissors and indicate where we want to normally you can use a long ruler and rule it into three you rule it into three so it depends on how you want your how full you want your uh, splash and spray to be so mine i'm going to cut it without rolling yes without rolling into three so please watch me carefully you understand what i'm saying so the first ruling i'm going to do i can even indicate it by measuring it Sorry, my measuring it. So this is like, let me just say 12. So I'm going to take it 12 divided by 3. That's 4, 4, 4. So the first ruling I'm going to do now is going to be around the 4, 4. So I'm going to take it up this way. Are you watching? Watch me carefully. So, hope you guys understand what I'm trying to do. So, the next one again, I'm going to rule it this way. I'm going to also minus four. Take your four inches and I'm going to start cutting again. Now that it's already complete, so this is the paper. This thing one, two, three. So it's already what complete. So let me find it's okay. Mm -mm. The paper, that's okay. That I'm here. So, what we are going to do now, it's a corner one. You go to be a tear showing. see what we achieved now so this is what we achieved now have you guys seen what we achieved so this is what we achieved now by uh, inserting the splash and uh, spread method hope you guys understand what i'm doing so now what i'm going to do now is to cut it off and then you understand what i'm saying I'm going to start by cutting the neckline off and the shoulder slant, everything.
hope you guys are seeing what I'm doing. I'm sorry for the slow motion and everything. Just have to be careful when you are cutting your fabric. You understand? So that you achieve what you want to actually achieve. So, what I'm going to do now, please carefully look at what I'm going to do. So, now I'm going to cut the border is through the flex. Hope you guys are seeing what I'm doing. So, now this is what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to add some inches because didn't, I didn't have. Uh, sewing allowance to the border edge so i'm just going to add some inches just like with one inch then i'll cut it off carefully carefully cut it off this way We have eventually proceeded in cutting our our flay gown through what splash and spread. So by the time you we finish sewing it, you see how the clothes is going to come out and everything. Hope you guys are understanding me. Please like and subscribe to my channel to see more of this beautiful tutorial. So it's not all down you are going to cut in a circle form like in a circular form so you have to study the, uh, the clothes you are uh, cutting very well you understand for you to get the actual design on the design you understand what i'm saying because i know i've known so much so many fashion designers and i made the mistake of cutting it through a circular form and it's not so it's, it's just cut in a flesh and spread uh, spread method you understand so just We'll continue what we are doing. I'll, I might likely show you the sewing part. So I hope you enjoy our tutorial. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any question, please ask us. Thank you very much.